Good morning, good morning everyone. It is Emily and I am back with another cash stuffing. Okay, so let me go ahead and give y'all a brief introduction for all of my newbies and all the people that just came to say hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, um, so I am back and I am going to do a cash stuffing today of um $586. Um, I did have $600, but I spent some of my eat out money, um, last night. So we're working with $586 today. Okay. So this right, this is a low income, uh, budgeting channel. So I also have videos on how I do my budget breakdown, paycheck to paycheck. So, um, go ahead and go over and check out those videos okay and so i am a single mom of a 10 year old i am a custodian here um at my local school district for a local school and i get paid on the 15th and the 30th of the month and i have about four paychecks a year that uh per calendar year i should say that we get three weeks built into our pay so this was one of my three week paychecks so i'm able to stuff a little bit more okay so let's go ahead and get started so i got my little trusty um hologram binder here um you see these all over youtube purchase this off of amazon and purchase these little um plastic zipper um pouches off of amazon as well sister made the labels with her label maker and yeah, we keep it simple over here. So first category, and I got my little little cheat sheet here. This is my little trusty cheat sheet. Okay, so it, it ain't cute, y'all. Look at that. It ain't cute. I got all kind of marks all over it. So we're gonna throw that over here to the side so y'all ain't gotta look at that. Okay, so first category is gas. Gas gets $60. Got my little money laid out here, and it's kind of a little messy because these are uh, some of these are crisp and they stick together. So I'm going to do three twenties for gas, and this will be the first to get spent probably. At least twenty will get spent today because I have under half a tank now. So I'll gas up tonight. So I got. $60 in there and y'all none of these envelopes have any money in it. I don't usually have money left over. I'm poor <laughs> Okay, so laundry Laundry gets $20 for two weeks. I spend 10 um, Per week, so I'm stuffing these for two weeks. So laundry is going to get two tens and Y'all these tens are so crispy So I'm gonna make sure I don't Put more in than I am supposed to then I'll be looking stupid at the end so I got two tens for laundry I do not have a washing machine and dryer in my apartment I have a hookup so you have to go to the laundry mat every week oh my god it gets so old okay groceries groceries just got a quarter in there I used it I leave this in here because I shop at Aldi and you have to put a quarter in to get a, a cart out. So that stays in there for when I go grocery shopping. So grocery is only going to get 50. Grocery usually gets about 120. But I have gro some grocery already. And I don't need but about $50 worth of grocery now. So I'm going to put in $50. And we are going to take 220 and a 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm so playful this morning. It's early Friday morning. I got one more day, y'all. You see what I'm talking about, about these 10s? They sticking, so I just had to be careful. So, groceries gets 50. Tw 20s and a 10. Yes, I cannot wait until 7.30 today. I worked 10 hours today and I cannot wait till I get off. And by the time I clock out, I will have worked 50 hours this week. I am tired. Okay, so grocery 
Yes, 50. Ashton. Y'all, Ashton's thing is pitiful. I had to. This thing, the little white part came off track, and I had to end up cutting her envelope. So she doesn't have a topper, a top zipper on there. So I'm going to have to get a new one envelope for her. So Ashton gets a couple of different things. So Ashton gets $75 for her hair. For me to take her to the hair salon because I cannot. I'm, I just can't deal with her hair. I can't deal with hair, period. That's why I have locks because I don't like combing hair. I don't think I like to do is wash and condition it. Okay, so Ashton gets $75. She, she, we're going to take some money out over here. Okay, so we get 20 40 60 a 10 and a 5 70 and a 5 Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay, so she gets 75 for her hair. She has a hair appointment next weekend, which is only going to be 35. So she'll have some left over for the next hairdo. She, she shall be getting some French braids, a wash, a condition, and some French braids with hair added. Okay, so Ashen got 75 for that. Now Ashen also needs some bras and she is getting $50 for bras. So we're gonna get a 20, another 20, and a five. Y'all, kids are so expensive. Okay, so 20, 40, 50. I love my baby them. But yes, it's always something to buy for kids. Okay, because they're always constantly growing. Okay, so fifty dollars for that. We'll go to Walmart and see how many we can get with fifty. Okay, so um if y'all know anywhere else that might be cheaper than Walmart, holler at me. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so let's see. Ashton Bras got fifty. Ashton gets $10 for allowance after she cleaned that bathtub today. She got to clean that bathtub to get this $10, y'all. So Ashton gets $10 for that. So, yeah, Ashton got some money. Not all of it is for her personal use, though. And I know she said she wanted to buy some more fidgets. So we're going to end up at the flea market probably on Sunday. So, yeah, so Ashton got 50 I mean, I'm sorry. Ashton got 10 for allowance. Okay, next category. Me! Emily, that's me. I just got my nails done, you guys. And I already got one. This is like a week now. Well, it'll be a week tomorrow. I already got one that's coming up a little bit. I don't think they put enough acrylic on this set. But, um, this one. So, I'll get 55 for my nails. We'll take 20, 20, 20, 20. Ha ha. Uh, 10 and a 5. It cost me $50 and usually, and I always tip 5. So 20, 40, 50, and a 5. So that'll go in Emily for me to get my nails done. Yeah, I'm excited about this cash stuffing because I usually don't stuff this amount. But, like I said, more pay, more things that I can do with more money. Okay, so, Emily. Eat out. Eat out had got $20, y'all, but we ate out last night. So, eat out is only going to get $7 now because I spent... $14 last night on Wendy's. We got two biggie, $5 biggie bags and a sugar cookie. Okay, so. Five, six, and seven goes into eat out. And that'll be just enough for my little lady to get her a $5 biggie bag. Because that's what she likes. She loves them $5 biggie bags, y'all. I love them too because they're cheap and you get a lot of food. And she's growing and she's always eating. Okay, so Eda got seven dollars. Okay, um, 
Next category, we're going to skip fun money for right now. Household supplies. Household supplies gets $20. I'm just going to throw a whole 20 in there, y'all. I need some stuff, too. We need some toothpaste, some soap, mouthwash, some more leave. I'm starting to go through medications. I might ha I might need to bump this up next time I get paid to 30 Okay, so household got 20 Back to school gets nothing because we're already back to school. Date night gets nothing. We're not going on no dates no time soon. These bills is kicking my tail. Okay, so we really ain't doing too much right now. We're just living over here. Okay, birthday and gifts. Birthday and gifts. My mom's birthday is October the 4th. So, I always just give her cash. So, 20, 40, and 10. So, that gets 50, 20, 40, and 10. $50. Yeah, so she has everything in the world. She don't need nothing. So, I always just give her, gift her a little cash for her to get something else that she don't need. <laughs> okay, so, birthdays and gifts. Okay, so everything is stuffed over here. I have a couple of new categories, and I don't have an envelope for them. So I made an envelope, you guys. And my two new categories are home savings and debt payment. So, so I just thought I'm going to come open, you guys. Okay, home savings is going to get... A hundred and forty dollars. Okay, so I am going to put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. Okay, so 140 is going into home savings, and I didn't have an envelope, a vinyl envelope yet, so I just took a trusty envelope, regular mailing envelope, and I wrote up here at the top how much I'm putting in for my first deposit. And 140 is going in there. This will be going to the bank tomorrow morning. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. So that's 140. This will be going to the bank. I do not like to keep a lot of cash on hand. So this will be going back to the bank. The account that I have my home savings in. It's just an account just for home savings so i will make a deposit okay the other category is debt payment i have a lot of debt right now because of these hospital bills and doctor bills so i have to start paying making payments before this stuff go into collection so debt payment is getting 45 20 30 40 and 5 debt payment is getting 45 okay that's for debt payment and I just did the same thing I wrote $45 up there this will be going back into the bank too because I'm going to make a payment to ATI my physical therapy to pay on that and I have a couple of dollars left here. So I have $4 left. And I think what I'm going to do with this $4 is I'm just going to get me $4 worth of quarters to put in my coin jar. I don't have my coin jar in this video, but I'll bring it out in my budgeting video. So. Um, I'm not sure which video I'm going to post first, but it will be in my budgeting uh, video where I do my paycheck breakdown. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to just get $4 worth of quarters to go inside of my change jar. And whatever I save in my change jar will go towards this envelope right here. Debt payment. I've got to get some of this debt worked off, y'all. I had paid down a lot of my debt. At tax time but I had a forcing medical emergency and I have 
I did not have a medical sinking fund because I typically don't have to go to the doctor, but I am getting older, so um, I've had to frequent the doctor more. And so I have insurance, but I have the lower, I have the highest deductible plan, so I have to pay more out of pocket. And I, it took me a lot to meet my deductible, so I have a lot of out-of-pocket expenses as far as doctor bills and stuff because of my knee and then I recently had to go to the emergency room by ambulance so that was $700 for the ambulance and then the bill was ridiculous so yes I will be stuffing this quite a bit in the next coming months to get those debts paid off okay so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I appreciate you guys for checking me out and viewing my videos. Someone asked me if I could do day in the life videos. I have a couple of day in the life videos and get ready with me. I'm going to check to make sure they're on public. If they are on public, you feel free to go over and check those out and thank you just just thank you guys i have over 1000 subscribers now i appreciate you guys and i'm gonna just take these little envelopes here y'all and stick them back here and i'm gonna be updating my binder soon so yeah and then we'll just take this right here and we'll just stick it right there and i know what that goes to so yeah so there's my little trusty envelope and this always goes in my purse and my little cheat sheet i'll just fold this back up and this will go with my budgeting uh my budgeting um notebook all right so i will talk to you guys later have a fabulous fabulous weekend and remember guys this covid thing is not over so please please take care of yourself distance wear your mask if necessary wash your hands and just stay safe people